Hi, I'm Rick with Bowriver Trout Fitters. Today we're going to be tying Pops Bonefish Bitters. Uh, this fly was invented by Craig Matthews in the 1980s. Uh, it is a shrimp and crab uh, imitation pattern popular in the Caribbean for uh, bonefish and permit. Uh, I like this fly for fishing uh, shallow flats water, particularly for bonefish, but it's also a good permit fly in larger sizes. Um, the materials we'll be using today are uh, very simple. Um, this is a uh, a prepackaged bonefish bitters fly. It has a, um, a bead chain eye with an epoxy head. This this particular product has a weed guard attached. That's optional, in my opinion, on this. Uh, you can cut off the pattern. You can also prepare these uh, yourself using um, a hook like a Mustad 3407 uh, galvanized um, a short shank uh, saltwater hook uh, in sizes uh, four to eight. Um, let's proceed with the uh, with the product. Uh, first order of business here is we'll lay down a layer of thread base uh, on the hook starting right behind the the, the head and we'll just uh, um, tie that thread in to the bend of the hook. Advance my thread back to just behind the eye and I'll tie in my legs. I like a flat floss style leg, particularly in this one the, the legs do lay flat on the, on the fly. Um, it's not important what type of rubber leg you use. Uh, we're, what we're looking for is uh, a color that contrasts um, with, uh, with, the, with the bottom of the uh, area you're fishing um, so that the legs remain visible and, and flexible so that the legs move as you move the fly through the water. What I like to add on this fly, and it's not in the original recipe, but I like to add in a, a piece of uh, orange polypropylene yarn at the base of the fly. This would imitate a, a spawn sack or uh, even just simply as a, a bit of an attractor. Um, I've prepared um, uh, a deer hair wing. This is just uh, olive colored, uh, olive dyed, um, primo deer hair. I have uh, stripped out the underfur and stacked this so the, the hair tips all line up. I'm just going to lay this in as a, uh, as a wing with the uh, length approximately equal to the length of the hook or just extending past the bend of the hook and it's going to be tied in at the uh, point between where the legs are tied in and the back of the head of the fly. So I'm just going to lay the, lay the hairs on top of the, the shank. I'm going to wrap them loosely first and then gradually tighten and wrap. I don't want the, the hair to wrap around the, the far side of the hook in this case. And, and I'll tighten that off and then once I have those secured I'll trim off the butts of, of the deer hair. Sweep the legs out of the way. Do a quick half hitch to hold everything in place. And then I can cement, cement the body after trimming my legs. Um, because the bead chain eyes on this fly are tied on the top of the hook shank, the fly will ride point up on the bottom as you strip the, the fly in front of the fish. Uh, you can vary the depth at which this fly fishes by changing the size of the bead eye uh, as you prepare the hook. Uh, you can even use a small lead dumbbell if you're fishing in much deeper water, say for permit. Um, this is Rick from Bow River Trout Fitters. Give this fly a try next time you're fishing in the salt water. I'm sure you'll find it a rewarding experience.